Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how to upload an image to an S3 bucket using PHP. I have a previous video that shows you how to upload it via Python and also shows you how to actually set up the S3 bucket. I recommend looking at this link will be included in the description. You'll, it's a step-by-step -step screenshots of how to set up the S3 bucket or you can just refer to the YouTube video. So I have my S3 bucket all set up here. Um, I've also created a couple GIFs that will have all this code. I'm going to go through the steps and show you how to upload your first image to this. First, I'm going to use LAMP, uh, sorry, not LAMP, but MAMP, to simulate a PHP Apache environment. I'm not actually using any of the uh, MySQL or Apache, but I'm just going to need to uh, be able to run server code. Apparently something's gone wrong. Okay, so now that we're ready, um, my map wasn't going to start the MySQL, MySQL server, so I followed this Stack Overflow. I just went into the MySQL under DB, under MAMP, and removed these two files here and started. So whatever, it worked now. Now that you have MAMP running, what you need to do is create a space to work. Uh, to actually have the, S, um, the t all the PHP files. So if you go to Applications, Map, HT Docs, and I'm just going to call this S3. I'm going to create an index file, which is actually just going to be a file upload. So I'm going to show you how to do this in two ways. First way is using a link. So the idea is you put in a link right here. It downloads a temporary uh, um, file. So your server gets the contents, puts it in that file, and then uploads that temporary file. What you'll have to do on your own is you can use unlink and is, is uh, remove, actually remove the file when you're done. Your other option is um, file upload. So I'm going to show you how to do both. You can find this on the internet in general. That's not good. I don't know what the local host is. There we go. Um, and so this is going to be my index file. Save that and I refresh that. Now I have a file for upload. So first we're going to do follow this one. Uh, this is the via form submission. And so when I, what I did is I went on the internet, uh, I got the form submission code from probably like W3 schools or something like that. Not the best one, but create a new file and copy and paste that all in. What I'll have to do now do is sub in all of my credentials. These credentials will probably be deleted by the time you're watching this video. Sub in my credentials. Hopefully that copy worked because I deleted the. And then my bucket name is temp PHP. Yeah, type it in. Okay, so just walking through the code, essentially a form submission happens. We create the link to the S3, 
you get the file name from local uh, from the file upload like the file submission you get the file from the file submission you add the file to the s3 bucket and then you're done first all these packages here though need to be properly installed using a composer if you don't know what composer is it's essentially a package manager it is a package manager what you'll have to do is open up a terminal Don't know what I just did. Okay, uh, you'll have to switch over to the applications folder, and then your MAMP folder. Don't think this is the right one. Yeah. Now what I'm doing here is switching over to my MAMP folder and then my HG docs. Okay. And so what I've actually included in here is this command here. I don't know if I have Composer installed. Hopefully I do. Uh, the fact that it spat something back out at me, so I do have Composer installed. If you don't have Composer installed, uh, please install Composer. And what I'm going to do is run a Composer require and then the PHP SDK. So it's installing all the packages it needs to be used. So if I look at my S3 folder, if I look back here, I have this vendor folder, a composer.json file, and a composer lock file. What I, I like to do personally if this, uh, is because I'm using a dev environment, I, I go back to the directory, which puts me back into the root directory, the htdocs one, and then I'll go into the vendor. So we should have everything we need um, to technically have this work. Um, okay, yeah, let's try it out. So I think I have an image on my desktop. Yep. Yeah. Hit upload image. Upload's not found because I don't have the. I just copy and paste the script, and I want this to be instead upload dash form. Try it again. To refresh the page and that tells me it's done I didn't get any errors so a couple things I, I don't know if it successfully worked but we're gonna find out in a second I'll close this one there the exact same thing um, I have these dies here which stop the script from running typically I do this using a JSON rest like so I return a JSON object if it fails or I return a successful JSON object at the end but I'm not doing that here. Essentially, this, so if it failed at any point here, it would hit the die and stop. Okay, so why do we have test example? So because here the key name is test example slash and then the file name. Test example and then the file name. Don't know. I think I don't definitely don't have. So it has a file size. Um, access denied. I'm gonna just download this. Um, don't know. Yeah, so it has the image. Um, I just don't have the proper name for it. Um, so I guess it came in as PHP blah, blah blah blah. But you could always change the name if you wanted to. So I think it's PHP name. I can see the actual name of the file. Let's try that again using that. And just to prove that it's working properly, we're going to change this to be example one instead of example. Refresh this. No, let me go back. Refresh that. Choose the same image and then hit upload. And now we're going to check again. Refresh the S3 bucket. Example 1, image1.png. Click it. We have a file size. So clearly we have it. I'm going to make this public because this is the same link I'm going to use for the um, actual downloading from the link. So if I open up that link, it downloads the file. And so that's now where we get to the second code. It's uploading an Im image using uh, a link. It's, I realize I missed the word A, but um, it's, it's very similar except for the you know downloading it to a local. 
So I'm going to copy and paste that. You can copy this from the GIST. I'm going to call this link.php. Paste. I need all the same credentials. Copy it from my other one. I'm going to do the same thing for the vendor dot backpack slash, which gets me to my, um, to my proper folder. And then lastly, I just have to sub in the link here. I have the link here. It's public now. I'm going to call this test example two. And let's see how this one, this code works out. I've actually never tested these codes. Not the best thing to be doing before um, for a video, but I kind of trust. I've, I've done this before, so I kind of trust myself. Um, so link.php, and it says done. Not sure we didn't get an error, so go back to our root. Refresh. Test example two. We got image one, and there's a size to it as well. Yes, download. Verify that it's the right image, and it is. So that's how you do file upload to S3 bucket using PHP. If you like this video, please subscribe. I have some others relating to AWS. I also have some server ones and then some Raspberry Pi ones. Thanks.